All right, so this is going to be your first video showing you how to make a, a Scraffito animal-based tray. So I know this is literally your first introduction to this entire project. As a little bit of an overview, you're essentially going to be making a small tray, roughly this size, uh, and in it, you're going to be carving in a design using a method called Scraffito, which we'll talk about later. Um, you will be doing an animal, and then a background with it for your carvings. So again, we'll talk more about um, all of what you'll be carving and how to design it later, but this first video is gonna show you simply how to make your tray. After we make our tray, later we'll be doing the carvings for it. So to start, I've already gotten started here. I've rolled out a slab using our standard method. I started with about two pounds of clay. Um, I kneaded and wedged it flattened it a bit and rolled it out. And now I'm at this step. I've also already smoothed out both sides of the slab of clay. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to cut out the shape for my tray. For this project, we'll all be doing the same shape, uh, which is somewhat of an oval shape. Um, for this small tray project, you will not be doing circles, no circles. Uh, each of you guys will be getting this template You'll notice this template is also divided into a grid. That's going to relate to when we talk about the rule of thirds for this project. But for now, don't worry about the grid. The most important parts of this template is the large outer oval and the smaller inner oval. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to trace this outside shape and the inside oval onto my clay. You can either do it while your piece is whole, or if you prefer, you can cut it out. Either one is totally fine. Uh, I'm going to take my whole piece and trace it over onto the clay, being careful to make sure that it's not gonna go off the edges. I'll show you when I'm done. Now you'll see that when I peel off the paper, uh, I have traced in the outer circle as well, or sorry, outer oval, as well as the inner oval. Uh, this is going to be the shape for my tray. So next I'm going to do, um, or I'm going to, essentially just cut it out with an X-Acto knife. Okay, I have now cut uh, the outer oval out of my clay. So now as I carefully pick it up, you can see that there's still the inner oval on the inside. So make sure that when you do transfer over your inner circle or inner oval like I did here, that you do it really lightly because the idea is that this oval will likely kind of disappear at some point. The purpose of the oval is, the inner oval, is to show what areas of our tray are going to stay flat. Meaning this outside edge is what we're going to be kind of pulling up to create our tray. This t um, aspect is gonna be what takes the longest for your tray making process, simply pulling up the edge and making it all smooth and perfect. So I'm gonna get started with that uh, to give you a bit of a visual. Basically, I'm just kind of taking the edge and slowly kind of pinching it up, being careful to try to leave that inside oval flat and level. I'll show you when I'm done. Once you start kind of pulling the edges up, you might find that instead of pinching, there's other techniques that work really well, kind of like what you see me doing here, where I'm kind of bracing the inside with one finger or one hand, and then I'm going around the outside edge with another one. That's gonna help give you a really smooth edge that's less rough. Keep in mind that for this project, we're going for a nice smooth edge. For this project, you are not allowed to have any sort of divots on the edge of your tray. So again, I'm gonna keep working on this and I'll show you when I'm a little further along. I have finished pulling up the edges now. Notice how it's nice and smooth on the inside. You can no longer see that edging that I had originally that goes around. If you can, it's not the end of the world, just try to make it uniform. For example, if you have a little edging from your outline that you can see, make sure it goes all the way around. If you erase it all, erase it all, don't just erase some. Um, but you can either have your edges go straight up if you'd like. I had mine kind of slightly curved up. Consider how flat you want this top edge to be. The goal is that it's the same thickness on this top edge all the way around, so work on evening that out. Once you get to the finishing touches, 
of working on your tray. Make sure you're never just pinching some areas. Really try to kind of smoothly go across the entire area uh, to make sure it stays nice and smooth. Um, and then remember, you wanna keep that inside area nice and flat. It shouldn't curve up like a bowl. The goal is that the inside stays flat and then it just comes up a little bit all around the edges. And that's how you make your basic tray. Um, next, what we're going to do is we're gonna start planning our designs that's going to be carved within this tray. And then we're kind of, kind of eh, we are kind of going to transfer that design on and then start carving it out. I'll show you that next.